Did you ever wonder what Bobby Flay's kitchen is like? Well, wonder no more. The superstar chef is giving us a glimpse inside and revealing the recipes he cooks for his closest friends with his new book. It's called Bobby at Home. Now we're his closest friends. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay, and today Bobby's going to show us some of his favorite dishes that he'll do for fall dinner, and he's got it yeah. all Wait, organized who are, who are here. Who are your go-tos? Who are your people who you love to have over for dinner? Well, my daughter Sophie, for yeah. sure. Okay. But I have yeah. tons of friends. Jimmy Ventura, Lawrence Kretschmer. They, they all know who they are. Okay. I feed these guys all the time. Okay. okay? All right. Summer, winter, spring, fall, okay. all We're going to get an invite eventually. Eventually. Yes. One yeah. of these days. First, of, these first, days. Of, all, yeah. first of all, here's the deal, okay? Yeah. When I cook at home, yeah. I can promise you one thing. What? I don't have a grid to put on my grid. <laughs> right? yeah. So basically, I'm going to go against the uh -huh. grid today. Uh -huh. And in my oh, house, stepping out yeah. of line. well, I'm cooking at home. So this is what it would look like at my house, right? Okay. In your house, yes. too. Yes. And so, like, you know, you have this abundance of ingredients. So we're going to make an eggplant bolognese today. Okay. Oh, so basically, it's a pasta with eggplant as opposed to meat. Bolognese is, oh. is a classic meat sauce. Okay. And then there's, there's an argument between... Um, uh, people everywhere, especially Italians and Italian Americans, yeah. do you do you keep the skin on or do you take it off? Yeah. I'm taking half of it off, so I stripe oh. it. Oh, okay, oh, you stripe oh, it. Stripe okay, it. okay. And then and then I and then I dice it into uh, you know s small dice okay. like this. So it's stripe and dice. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then we we start to sauté the eggplant. And what's that? Just a uh... little bit of olive oil. Okay. Okay. And we want the, we want to, we want to get these sort of nice and golden brown, a little salt and pepper. Okay. And then as that's cooking, we're going to cook some vegetables. Now, in a classic bolognese. Yep. What goes in? In a classic bolognese, yep. you would you would bolognese. add some vegetables, some uh, some <laughs> carrots and onions. Okay. And I just got back from Italy like two days ago, so I'm, I, I have a little I have a few Italian. extra vowels on the end of everything <laughs> I said. Bolognese. Exactly. Okay. And then um, so we we saute that. You yeah. Don't, you don't need to achieve any color. And okay. then some red wine. Red wine. Okay. Got it. Red wine. And then garlic, of course. Of course. A little bit of uh, pepperoncino for some spice. Okay. And then some tomatoes. Not not a lot, just you, a little bit. Do you squeeze oh them God. with your hand? I don't squeeze them with my hand. I let them cook for about 20 minutes, and then my and then I crush them with one of these. Oh. oh. That was right on cue, Hoda. Okay. All right. This is a this is a potato yeah. masher. Yeah. And when, when the tomatoes get soft, I just crush them into the sauce. Ah. So you retain some texture just like that. Okay. Wow. And that's okay. the sauce? They're yeah, that's crushing, the sauce. There's okay. slicing, there's dicing. Exactly. Yes. So now we have the we have the sauce, we yeah. have the eggplant that we cooked. Okay. Right? Strong. And um, mm. and then we're gonna take I'm gonna give you a little Giada De Laurentiis tip. Oh yeah. Because she gave me this tip, and every time I use the tip and don't credit her, I uh -huh. get a text. Okay. So, so what is it? So now here's what she, does. What, what she does. what does she do? So the pasta's cooked. So before you start mixing the pasta, you take the cheese now as opposed to later. And the cheese adheres to the pasta, and then the sauce adheres to the oh, pasta so itself. It Ah, exactly. Giada is so uh, smart. She knows her Italian uh -huh. food. She did invent the entire cuisine. You do know that, right? <laughs> okay. So we have some basil and some, <laughs> and some oregano. Uh -huh. A little that. bit of the pasta water okay. that we cooked the pasta in. And that's actually, it? And that's it. You just kind of okay. stir it together. That's it. Oh, you're leaving. Okay. No, come okay. <laughs> We're going to no, taste me. it. Okay, we're going to taste come it. Come on over here. Okay, now here. we're doing baking. Well, here you go. You want to try? <laughs> Maria's like, enough of the yeah, pasta. What's up try? with the baking? You want to yeah. try a bite? Here's, here's, okay. some, here's some of the eggplant okay. bolognese. Okay. Yours doesn't have any bolognese? cheese on it. Bolognese? Put a lot of cheese okay. exactly. Is that just you? Bolognese. No, that's why you say Bolognese. It. bolognese. All right, he hates to bake, but mm. he's going to bake mm. for us. Really good. Really good. Okay. okay. What are you making? Okay. All right, so we're going to make a crostata, mm. which is a free-form... Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's a free-form tart. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put some... Cooked blueberries, like a little right. bit of sugar, okay. a little okay. lemon juice, and some cornstarch. This okay. looks kind of—it could be easy. This is very easy. This oh, is a this good. is a beautiful um, dough of buttermilk in in the dough, and you just kind of form it around and really, really kind of in a rustic way. That's the whole point of a crostata. Okay. So it looks nice and rustic, and literally, I'm done. That's okay? it. No I can, can. I can do this. I can do this. This is very important. And you put it Bobby, in the oven. Bobby, we've been teasing all morning. Oh my God! The How cookie. do you make the perfect chocolate chip cookie? What do you do? It's got it's got mus muscovado brown sugar in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, the perfect um, chocolate chip cookie has a little bit of chew and a little bit of yeah. crunch. So what do you, you do, do with the dough? Special with the dough. What do you mean dough? we would do with Don't the dough? Don't you put it in the freezer? Oh yeah, said? a little bit in the yeah. You put it in the freezer. Oh, That's the whole secret. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't know what you're Come talking on. about. I, didn't, I thought you were talking about the ingredients. No, no. Mus and muscovado sugar as well. That's the okay. Case. But you put keep it in the refrigerator. Keep it in the freezer first, and then and then bake them. Okay. Okay, that was the big the, reveal. That was the thing everybody's been waiting for. I want to I wanna challenge Allison Roman to a chocolate chip cookie off. Oh. Have, you, have you had her cookies? Uh-uh. They're, They're really amazing. Good? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, maybe we'll do that. So okay. There's recipes yeah. and more. Head to today.com slash food. For Bobby's book, today.com slash shop. I got him to sign up uh -huh. for my son for his birthday. Oh. Oh.
We're back with Today Food, and one of our very favorite guests, our pal, Bobby Flay. Oh, I'm so excited. He's an hey, award-winning chef, the author of 216 best-selling 216? And we At can't least. forget about his hit show, <laughs> Beat Bobby Flay. By the way, new episode tonight, where two chefs go head-to-head in the kitchen for a chance to face off against the master himself. This morning, Bobby is sharing a fantastic pasta dish with us. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Flay. Good to see you guys. Bobby. Bobby. Thanks for waking up yeah. uh, early. What yeah, are we, what are we cooking, honey? So we're making uh, we're making a baked pasta. It's one of those dishes that I think is fantastic for like a Sunday night meal. It's very very comforting, and it's something that uh, can feed the whole family. So let's get started. It's going to be rigatoni. It's going to be some hot Italian sausage, some broccoli rabe, and some tomato sauce. A little vodka sauce there as well. So I'm going to start off by cooking some rigatoni uh, and some salt and water. You know, you, you've seen this a million times in the Today Show. Lots of salt in your water. Make sure it's boiling, abundance of water. We're going to cook the rigatoni for about eight or nine minutes. Well, while that's cooking, we're going to get our sauce going. So we have some hot Italian sausages that I've cooked off a little bit. Some tomato sauce. I've made my own, um, but if you have a good, uh, a good quality tomato sauce that you like, you can definitely use that as well. And we're going to add a little bit of vodka. This is that, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the most classic Italian-American pasta dishes is pasta alla, alla vodka. It's basically a tomato sauce with a little bit of vodka in it and um, a touch of cream. So it, it almost becomes like a little bit of a pink sauce. Really delicious. What does the vodka yeah, do we'll to it? Vo- What's that? What does the vodka do to it, Bobby? The vodka actually helps emulsify the cream in the tomato sauce, so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't separate. It's, uh, it, it's sort of a binder in, in, in a sense. And also, it's like, I mean, who doesn't want to cook with vodka? I mean, there you go. <laughs> so, so, so basically, you're making like the creamy tomato sauce with the with the hot Italian sausage, and then um, just because we want to make sure that it's nice and healthy, I'm going to put some broccoli rub in there as well. Okay. And, uh, and then we're going to take this sauce. And I'm going to pour it right over the cooked pasta. This is some rigatoni that I had, you know, cooked ahead of time. Nice. So we're just gonna we're gonna cover the uh, the pasta in the sauce, and I'm gonna add some fontina cheese to it. Yum! And this is all gonna go into a casserole dish. And I mm. love cooking things. I, you know, I call it oven to table, where you where you you know you create something in the kitchen, you put it in an earthenware or some sort of uh, oven proof dish like mm. this one. So Bobby, you did, put- did you cook that pasta al dente because it's gonna be cooking longer in the oven? Yes, that's actually, I thought that's a great point. You want to cook it a little bit undercooked, so maybe like three quarters of the way because it's going to sit in the sauce, it's going to bake in the oven at about 350 degrees, and on top, we're going to put some fresh, some, some grated mozzarella and some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, and then we're going to go to the oven. To hey, Bobby, oven, how do you keep it from sticking on the bottom? Oh, it's not going to stick because, we, you know, there's lots of tomato sauce in there, it's going to be totally fine. Oh, and actually, if it, um, if it gets a little crusty on top, <laughs> That's actually a good thing. It's like you know, like when you have the lasagna and the and and the edges and the crispiness mm-hmm. around the stuff. What do you always want that part of it? You get you definitely get a little bit of this as well. You want to let this bake in the oven about 350 degrees for I don't know about 15 to 20 minutes. Because don't forget the pasta's already cooked, the sauce is already hot. We're just heating it up, and then at the last second, for the last three or four minutes, turn your oven up to broil. Mm-hmm. Pour yourself a- and cook the time. This is part of the recipe, by the way. And then take out your uh, take out your your pasta, and you can see this is what it's gonna look like. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, I hope that's what I'm that talking about. Over here, if you're watching this at home, make Fresh sure. Herbs. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, it's delicious. Make, yeah. Think about this weekend. Yeah. And then basically, you know, you can just take a, take a little bit and just kind of, kind of put it in a bowl. Look at that. Nice and chewy, uh, cheesy. Yeah. Look at that. That's I mean, favorite. after looking at that, Bobby, it's amazing that anybody beats you on Beat Bobby Flay. Yeah. How's it going over there? Beat Bobby Flay is great. We've done, uh, we've done close to 400 episodes, which is insane. <laughs> but I have to tell you, I'm having more fun than ever. Um, it's so great to be able to welcome, you know, you know, chefs from all over the country to come in and, and take me down. It's actually way more fun when I lose because the chefs are so excited. It's great for their community when they win. You, you know, they usually have like all these, they have like viewing parties in their, in their local community. It's great. Me, Bobby Flay has been so much fun for me for the last, does, I don't know. Does your, does your girlfriend like watching it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Carson asked me if my girlfriend was awake. Oh. The only person awake right now in L.A. is me cooking baked pasta for you. It's 5.50 in the morning. How yeah, well, if you would just yeah. pull that sausage out of that dish, then she'd have a dish that she could eat if you were a little more thoughtful. 
Oh, oh. actually, Carson, you know what? You're, you've actually done your research because Christi Christina does not eat meat. I know that. Yes. So, but take the sausage out of here, she's all good. There you go. We just put a, well, we just put up a picture of her there. As well, <laughs> well he, last time Bobby was on, he was very secretive about this whole relationship. Yeah. And then he spilled his guts to People Magazine. Now it's fair game. Oh, so she's yeah. a lovely, yeah. lovely, yeah. lovely lady. Right hey, Bobby, real quick. We, we loved your restaurants in New York yeah. City. So amazing over the years. Anything new on the horizon? Anything we can look forward to? In New York City, um, well, we're, we're sort of in the wait and see kind of thing right now for New York because, you know, I, I've always had restaurants in New York my entire adult life. And, uh, you know, we're just going to see what happens. You know, I just opened the Malfi in Las Vegas about five or six months ago. That's going really well. And uh, listen, you know, New York has my heart. So at mm -hmm. some point, we'll be back there. All right. We'll all right. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Hey, you can catch Thanks, an all buddy. new episode of Beat Bobby Flay tonight on Food Network and get Bobby's recipes on our website today.com slash. Maybe a Malfi East. We are back, 849 now with Today Food. And this morning we are joined by our good friend. There he is. Bobby oh, Flay. Hey, oh, Bobby. 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 So wait, before the pandemic, okay, Bobby embarked on the trip of a lifetime, went to Italy with his pal Giada De Laurentiis, where they took in all the local history and cuisine that Italy has to offer. That must have been amazing. Wow. Well, you can now follow along on their adventures in their new show. It's called Bobby and Jada in Italy. It's on Discovery Plus. Bobby, good morning. Looks like y'all had a good old time there in Italy. I have to tell you, Savannah, it was a very tough assignment, but <laughs> I volunteered. It was fantastic. You know, Jada and I have been such great friends for such a long time. Jada was born in Rome. Um, I'm a, I'm a total, uh, just obsessed with Italy in general. And so it was just such a great trip. Did, she, did Giada say spaghetti all the time? <laughs> I know it's hard to keep up with her. And she, her, I think Giada's favorite pastime now is correcting when I try to actually speak an Italian <laughs> word. I, I got corrected constantly. Yeah. Now y'all have known each other for a long, long time, Bobby. What did you learn about Giada on this trip that you didn't already know? Um, I learned that Giada is a lot more relaxed than Italy. I mean, she is just, you know, she's smiling from ear to ear. You know, she's got family there. Her mom, Veronica, who's one of my favorite people in the world, um, lives there. And so she just has this, like, you know, different kind of, um, you know, feel about her. It's like, and I feel the same way. It's like when you're over in a place like that and, like, work isn't right next to you, it's really a lot easier to relax because you know you can't really go to work. So it's, it's actually a nice feeling. Bobby, we can't. And plus, we eat pizza, pasta, and gelato basically three times a day. So yeah, nice. wrong with that. We, we can't have you on without uh, you you're cooking something for us. What are you going to whip up for us this morning? What's what's so, going on in the kitchen? We went to Rome and we went to Tuscany and we and we went out to dinner and lunch and 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 sort of got dressed up and, and did the town so to speak in Rome. But when we got to Tuscany, we put our aprons on and we cooked. And one of the dishes, one of the classic dishes of Tuscany. Is a, is a wild boar ragu, basically like a sort of like a bolognese kind of um, you know feel to it, a meat sauce and pasta. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here that you can do at home. It's ground pork, ground beef, some aromatic vegetables like uh, onions and um, celery and carrots, and then I'm going to add some uh, some tomatoes, some porcini mushrooms, which you'll find a lot in Tuscany, mm. and will give it a really fantastic earthy flavor. A little bit of uh, some beef broth, and you let this cook for like. 90 minutes or so. It can go longer if you want. Of course, you have to have some beautiful Brunello from Tuscany, some red wine in there to make it nice and heady. And you, and you just let that cook slowly for about 90 minutes. It's a, it's a great Sunday night uh, sauce. Over here, I have some fresh pasta that I made. Now, clearly, you can make your own, or of course, you can buy some. Uh, but don't forget, if you haven't made fresh pasta before, give it a whirl. I mean, it's a couple of ingredients. It's some eggs and some flour. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And it's really satisfying. It's one of the. It's one of my favorite things to do, which is to make some uh, make some pasta. And so we're going to put the fresh pasta in there now. If it's a fresh pasta, it's going to cook very, very quickly. Just the salt and boil in the water. Do you need a special Probably machine, Bobby? If you wanted to make seconds. that homemade pasta, do you need that special machine that you like? roll things well you can cut it by hand but i think that you probably want to have like a hand crank machine okay. um and it's something that you know you will that will last for a really long time and you'll get tons of great pasta dishes out of it for sure savannah have you made fresh pasta before no uh, negatron no, <laughs> no. Okay. Big right. have you met that's savannah gonna, that's gonna be my lesson for you I'm gonna, have I'm you gonna boiled give you that lesson. Yeah. so pasta goes right into the sauce Jump Daddy, right. come over here. pasta goes into the sauce mm. and then we just finish it up with a little parmigiano reggiano cheese or some pecorino oh, you're killing me a little bit of butter yes a little bit. look at that look at that is there any wine in that butter 
What's that? Is there any wine in that? Oh, yeah. We have some red wine in the sauce for sure. Mm. Gives it a really kind of good, heady flavor to it. And then you just kind of, you know, you want to make sure that you that you toss yeah. the pasta oh, with the wow. sauce. Mm. Then we go right to our bowl. And then Hi, kitty. just goes right in. Wow. Hey, Bobby, what was the best, what was the one best thing you ate while you were in Italy? Like the one thing you remember? I'm going to ask you a question. Great, great, great question. It's a dish that um, is representative of this. Chingale, which is wild boar. It's a wild boar ragu. The, the wild boar running all over Tuscany, and uh, unfortunately, they end up in a lot of pasta dishes. But you know th- that that's that's sort of the, that's sort of the most classic dish that you can um, that you can eat in Tuscany. Little little chingale, some fresh pasta, a great bottle of Brunello di Montalcino, and it's game time. I mean, do you eat any fish, steak, or chicken, or is it just all pasta there? Oh no no no! This, well, I mean, I mean, obviously in Rome, it's you know, such a cosmopolitan city; it's everything. But I, I think in Tuscany, for the most part, incredible, incredible vegetables, lots of lots of delicious meat. You know, sort of you know grilled, uh, you know, outside, you know, over wood. I mean, that's really that's really key. If you watch the show, you'll see a lot of we did a, we did a, we did tons of cooking. And in fact, it's inspired to me to open a restaurant in Las Vegas. I'm opening a, an Italian restaurant in Las Vegas in May. So like. I am, I'm all in on the Italian thing. I Bobby, mean, Jada, she's got it right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bobby, did you learn? I mean, you are obviously a very accomplished chef. Did you learn anything in Italy during your I learned, eat portion I learned, of Eat, Pray, Love? <laughs> I, you, know, you know what? You know, actually, a couple of years ago, Savannah, I went, I went to Rome for six weeks by myself and just kind of lived there as much as I could as a local. Went to school every day, took Italian uh, language class, obviously can't speak many words. You'll, you'll see in the show that Giada corrects me every two seconds. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't matter. It's fun. I love the lifestyle there. And in terms of cooking, I learned so much. Wow. I mean, just just the way that they um, they enhance, just, just the way that they uh, embrace life in general and, and, and also embrace the food. Wait it's a, a much healthier lifestyle. And yeah. Um, yeah. it's all wrapped together with extra mm-hmm. virgin olive oil. So Please take a bite of that really quickly for me. Yeah. For me, it's great. <laughs> As we say, grazie, Bobby. Grazie, grazie. Mangia, mangia. Yeah. There you go. All right. You can catch Bobby and Jada in oh, Italy. Mm. Gosh, go. I would have loved to oh, be on breakfast. Discovery oh, Plus. Breakfast. Remember when they used to cook here? <laughs> one day. Oh, one day we'll oh, eat it. Yeah. Yeah. One day we Thanks, could take Bobby. the whole show to Italy. And yes. Just, yes. Oh, you know, right. Next like year. It. Let's do uh, it. Today.com slash food yeah. for that recipe. And the show again on Discovery Plus. 